Your Transamerica Retirement website is an easy way for you to manage your account and invest for retirement. This video will walk you through important areas of the site. Our goal is to give you the tools to help you feel confident about your retirement strategy. Please keep in mind that Transamerica provides an array of services and your employer designed a retirement plan best suited for your organization. So you may find some differences between this video and your website. For a personalized walkthrough of your retirement account, please contact Transamerica. Depending on the type of plan you have, your login page will look something like this. If you have never logged in, you'll need to create a new account and set up your profile. If you have an account, you'll be able to log in. I will briefly walk through the enrollment process now. If you already have an account, you will not see these screens. So, if you have not opened a Transamerica account before, click New User or First Time User or Register Now. You'll be asked to enter your Social Security number, then create a username and password. Guidelines for each are on the right side of the screen. You'll then see your retirement account name. Select your account to open the enrollment path. You'll then be asked to create your profile by filling in your address and some other basic information. After confirming your profile details, it's time to choose your contribution rate and investment strategy. If your company has an employer matching contribution, be sure to choose a contribution rate that allows you to receive the full match if you can. If your company does not provide a match, pick a contribution rate that works for you. Most financial professionals agree that 10% is the minimum for most people to fully fund their retirement. If that seems too high, start where you're comfortable. Any amount is better than nothing. Your plan may have an auto increase feature. This feature allows you to increase your contribution rate automatically each year by a certain percentage that you choose on a date that you choose. Many people set their annual increase on their work anniversary or birthday. If your plan does not have this feature, you can still make a note to yourself to increase your contribution rate on one of these milestones. If you do sign up for auto increase, you should evaluate your ability to continue the service in the event of a prolonged market decline, unexpected expenses, or an unforeseeable emergency. When choosing your investment strategy, you want to take several things into consideration. Are you planning to build your own portfolio? Or are you looking for a one-step solution? Also, consider your risk tolerance and the number of years you have until retirement. Depending on these and other factors, choose an investment strategy that properly reflects your goals. If you need any help doing so, give us a call, and we can help you learn about the different investment options available in your plan. Once you've gone through these steps, you'll arrive at a confirmation page. Be sure to review and save your settings. Please read the terms and conditions, and when ready, click Agree and Continue. Then you're ready to go to your account. Now we've arrived at the Account Overview page. Along the top of the screen, you'll see your plan name and balance. The Add a Glance box is a great way to get a quick look at how your account is set up. You can view your investments by asset class or contribution source. You can also toggle between percentage or dollar amounts. Clicking on Balance Details will allow you to get a closer look at the funds you're invested in. To the right of At a Glance is your personalized year-to-date rate of return. If you want a deeper dive into your rate of return, click on Activity Details. Scroll down a bit to see the What's Your Retirement Outlook box. Here, you'll see a weather icon that illustrates your retirement outlook, along with a description of what that means. Retirement income is what your estimated replacement salary will be each year in retirement based on your saving strategy. 
The default retirement income goal when you set up your account is 80% of your current salary. You can see a breakdown of your estimated retirement income and your current income goal here. I'll show you ways to brighten your outlook soon. On the left side of the page is your navigation pane. Let's go over that now. Under the Home tab in the navigation pane, you'll see the Beneficiaries link where you can add, review, and update your beneficiary information. It's important to name at least one beneficiary to ensure your retirement savings are passed on to the people you choose. Naming someone in a will is not enough. In fact, your retirement account beneficiary designation would override whoever's named in your will. The Forms section, also under the Home tab, has useful forms for various actions you might want to take, including rolling over assets from previous retirement accounts. This section also has information about taking distributions from your account, such as loans or hardship withdrawals if available. Now, let's check out what's available under the Review tab. Here, you can find specific investment information, details about account activity, and information regarding distributions and loans. The Fund and Fee Information tab will take you to a page showing the investment options available in your plan. You can view historical performances of the funds over different periods of time. And by clicking on the fund name, the fund summary could be helpful in selecting which funds to choose in your portfolio. As you look through the fund and fee information, please keep in mind that past performance is not indicative of future performance. Beneath the Review section is the Manage tab. The first item under the Manage tab is Contributions. This is an important page because it allows you to select how much money you want to contribute to your retirement account. The contributions can be made in specific dollar amounts or as a percentage of your salary. Near the top of the screen, you may see two questions. If you're over 50, you have the option to contribute more to your account than those under 50. This is referred to as a catch-up contribution, allowing you to take advantage of additional savings. You may also see an option to use Auto Increase. This service allows you to automatically save more each year, by an amount you choose, on a day you choose. If you don't have the Auto Increase feature, you can still come back to this page on important milestones, like your birthday or work anniversary, to increase your contribution rate. Your Retirement Outlook can be found on the right side of the page and will update in real time to show how any changes will affect your overall retirement preparedness. The update remains hypothetical until you click Next at the bottom of the page and confirm your changes on the following page. The Current Investments link under the Manage tab allows you to view how your money is currently invested. It is broken up by balance and by percentage of your overall account. This is also where you can sign up for automatic rebalancing of your portfolio. Again, clicking on the fund name will open up a research document. The Future Allocations link under the Manage tab allows you to make changes to where your money will be invested in the future. It shows where your current allocations are going and where the new ones will go if you make a change. You can also see the breakdown using the pie chart on the screen. Remember, your allocations must equal 100% for the changes to be accepted. If you're ready to proceed, all you have to do is click Continue. The Transfers link under the Manage tab allows you to move money between funds. This is also the page where you can take advantage of another great service Transamerica offers and that is the ability to maintain your asset allocation in certain funds similar to automatic rebalancing. Using the blue box, you can direct your portfolio to transfer money between certain funds so you can keep your allocations the same, relative to your overall percentage. 
Remember, when moving money in and out of your funds, the amount transferring out must be equal to the amount transferring in for the changes to be accepted. This can be done in dollars or percentages. When you're ready to proceed, all you have to do is click Continue and confirm the changes. Moving money between funds is not a taxable event, but fund fees and restrictions may apply. Under the Manage tab, you'll also see any available investment service options in your plan, including Portfolio Express for certain plans. Click a specific service to see more details about it and to get information about how to sign up. Last but not least, let's move to the Are You On Track section of the navigation bar. Staying on the path toward a fully funded retirement is one of the key components of a successful strategy. To find out how effective your strategy might be, click on Brighten Your Outlook. You'll see an illustrative weather icon and its definition, as well as a breakdown of your strategy. The lower part of the page shows three important ways to potentially brighten your outlook. You could increase your contribution rate, choose a different investment strategy, or adjust your goals. You can experiment with settings on this page and you'll see how certain changes might impact your retirement outlook before actually making the changes. If you like what you see, you can click Do It to save those new settings. Adding external information will help improve the accuracy of your forecast. Whether it's adding external accounts or income, the process is pretty much the same. First, you need to click the appropriate tab. For this presentation, we'll use Retirement Accounts. When you click Add a New Account, a pop-up will appear, allowing you to choose from some major financial firms. Or you can choose to add your account manually. Be sure to explore the Retirement Income and Budget and Withdrawal screens too. Remember, for a personalized walkthrough, you can schedule a one-on-one -on -one meeting. In addition to everything I've shown you in this demonstration, there are additional resources available, including financial calculators in the Resources tab and an FAQs and Glossary section under the Help tab. If you need further assistance, please contact Transamerica. We hope you found this information useful. Thank you.